Hello, everyone. My name is Andrew Fong. So, welcome to the second episode of、uh, Bitcoin Live Plotting. So, in this episode, we'll be showing you how you can plot the crypto prices、um, in real time using Matplotlib, which is a Python、uh, plotting library. And inside, there is an animation function, which we'll call later on to、um, animate the whole process and make it. Live. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that we need is obviously Matplotlib. So let's import it right now. Import Matplotlib by pyplot and splt. So first, let's、um, set a style to the plot so that we can visualize the the price changes in a better in a better and More representative way. So let's do、uh, plot dot、uh, style dot use.、Uh, we can choose、uh, seaborn. And the second part is to、uh, in instantiate a、uh, two empty lists, which is the x values and the y values. So for the x values, it represents the time, and for the y values, it represents the price of the cryptocurrencies. And the x values, notice that it will be、uh, stored in terms of a date time objects. We will call it、um, a Python date time objects. So let's import、um, from date time. Import date time. And so let's move on. Next, we have to define a an animate function, which will which will call it、um, every second. So let's do that. And、uh, we can do animate the i. I is essentially an an index, which will be called、uh, every、uh, specific time frame. So.、Um, For each time, every time the animate function is is run, we will append the x values. And remember that the x values represent the date time, so we can just do、um, date time.、Um, x values dot append, append the list, and then date time dot now, which will get the current time. Okay. So for the y values, we will append a the、um, prices, which we will call the get crypto price here, and then put in the cryptocurrency and also the currency here. So after that, we can specify the title. Here,、uh, plot title with just plot dot、uh, title.、Uh, we need to get the name full name of the cryptocurrency, so we just do、uh, get crypto name, and then、uh, BTC in this case, and then plus.、Uh, Price live plotting. We can specify the x label as date, and the y label as the price. Price, which is in terms of、um, USD. So,、um, so let's actually plot this out. Actual plotting, which is plot dot、um, plot date, and then 
um, the x values. The first argument is the x value, so it's x values and then y values, and then we have to make sure that um, it is a line instead of a dot. So we can do line style and equals solid. And we don't actually want the dot to be appeared uh, as is a it may mess up the graph later on. If we got a lot of data points, we can just set the marker size to be zero. And then let's pack the whole thing uh, using the tight layout so that um, the labels won't go out of bounds. And so this part is the main part. We have to um, make uh, call the animate function using any, which is a fun um, animation. So notice that we haven't uh, imported funk animation yet. So let's do that now. Um, from matplotlib dot uh, animation import uh, funk animation. Okay. So the first thing is to the first argument is actually um, the current graph, which we can call it by. Uh, plot.gcf so this function uh, actually uh, returns us the current graph after each plotting and the animate function is specified here using animate and we have to specify how many times or how frequently the, the graph should be updated so let's do um, interval equals 1000. Notice that the interval is uh, expressed in terms of uh, milliseconds. So one second equals uh, 1000 milliseconds. And then finally, we can show the plot using uh, plot dot show. So let's see if it works. Um, one reminder for uh, those who are using Jupyter Notebook is that uh, we have to call matplotlib and then notebook so that it shows the graph from matplotlib. So let's call it again. Yeah, it this time works. It works. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the graph uh, basically updates itself every millisec every uh, every second, and then you can see the new data points here. Uh, they are being plotted. You may notice that the the graph is actually changing colors uh, for every time it's get updated. And the reason why it's doing this is because for each data point on each new data point, it will plot a new line to cover up the old one. So it kept changing colors. It kept plotting um, on top of the old lines and it's making it very slow. So we can do, how do we um, eliminate that? So we can uh, eliminate that by doing um, plot.cla, which uh, essentially means uh, clear the access for every time it gets updated. So we can put it um, here. And and also we want to change this figure one. We don't want the figure one to be the title. So we can do that by um, um, plot.gcf, which um, as I mentioned before, it calls, it returns the current graph. And then we make it canvas.theset window. 
title to be um, live plotting cryptocurrency and then let's run it to see how it goes so as you can see it, it's updated now and every data point will be shown here new data point so as you can see it's dropping quite a lot from, from the scale of this and also a special note is that um, I in here for the plot actual plotting I choose I choose to do a plot date instead of just simply plot it is because uh, the y values are stored in terms of daytime objects instead of just strings so um, as we can as we update it every time we we go um, the graph actually updates itself the scale also updates its scale thanks to the matplotlib libraries that cater for daytime objects so if we just do plot then the whole scale won't be updated and and the graph may look um, kind of skewed so yeah um, that's that's the whole uh, thought process of my uh, presentations so I've been running the program for almost uh, eight minutes now and you can see there's a uh, the plot has a V shape and let's let's check it if uh, the real curve in Binance which is a um, which is a cryptocurrency authority uh, resembles anything about X and we can see that um, the V shape it's I think it's here A little upward trend and then drops and then goes back to 33,160 I think it's here yeah so this works so that's it for me uh, if you have any question regarding this video about the plotting or the, the crypto compare API then feel free to drop a comment below and all the source code and and reference links will be listed in the description below as well. And that's it for me. Thanks for watching, guys.